Wonderful. So first we need to get into Moxie. So we do that from mycvdesk.com. So once you log into mycvdesk, you want to find the square that the tile that says Moxie works and you'll click on that and you'll log in automatically into your Moxie. And of course, we always have our menu options at the top, our present, engage, websites, and press, and so on. We have a menu to the left. And then in the upper right, when you click your headshot, you have a menu option here. So lots of different ways to get to all of your different tools, all the different tasks that you need to do in Moxie. The specific one we're talking about today, customized signatures, is found on the left menu option over here. So if it's collapsed, you'll see that there are down arrows here. You may or may not have certain um, menu options depending on your security status in Moxie, but you should have the one that says my account. So if it's collapsed, just click the arrow. It'll pop open all of these options here. And the one that we're gonna be talking about is my brand. So once you click on my brand, that will pull up two options. And you'll see that that menu options are right here at the top, signature and logo. So we'll talk about signature first and then we'll go ahead and talk about logo here in a minute. So if you've never been in here, it's going to default to basic. That's your basic signature. It shows what it looks like on desktop. It shows what it looks like on mobile. It pulls in your contact information that is fed over from our systems. So again, if your phone number is incorrect, if your email is incorrect, reach out to your ASC or RSC, and they'll be able to update that in the system for you. As of right now, we can't update that in Moxie. It has to be done on the back end. It'll feed over and populate the change into Moxie. So again, if there's anything wrong in that arena, just reach out to your ASC or RSC and they'll be able to help you. The other two options besides basic are templates and custom. So if you've had the marketing group create a custom email signature, so you have a JPEG of it, maybe it has your headshot, maybe it has um, your, you know, a logo if you have one, whatever it might be, you can go ahead and load that into the custom one. You would pull it up right here and then you would just embed that graphic that they provide to you. And again, it shows you what it'll look like on desktop and it shows you what it would look like on mobile. You can also build one out in here. You can put your headshot just like mine has. You can update your name, uh, your company ID, your phone number, any of that information on the custom signature option, you can actually update. You don't have to have it automatically fed over from the account like you would if you chose basic. The other option is templates. This also will pull in that same information that basic pulls in, but it gives you an option of formatting. So maybe you don't wanna do a custom one, you don't have a custom JPEG, or you don't wanna build one out on your own, you wanna choose a different template, you have that option here. And you can see that uh, left align, it will show you exactly what that will look like. So it pulls in your headshot, it pulls in the information, your logo, all of this information also pulls over from your account, just like on the basic one. So if anything is incorrect here, Again, you have to reach out to your ASC or your RSC. So you can choose to do right aligned. And again, it shows you what it looks like on desktop or mobile, or you can do center aligned. Now, again, this is the signature that will go out in the email if you're sending a, pres a presentation from present, or if you're sending any of the campaigns from engage. This is the signature that will show up. So again, you have three different options, basic, custom, or templates. Again, custom gives you a lot of ability to type whatever you want. You can type the cell phone number that you want, your office number, your email address, whatever it might be. Basic and templates pulls that information over from your account, which again is um, maintained through your ASC and your RSC. The other option up here at the top is logo. So maybe you're part of a team, maybe you have personal branding, whatever it may be, you can load your logo in here so that will also show up to web and PDF presentations. So again, dark for a light background. And if you have a secondary one, you can do a light for dark backgrounds. So if it's a logo showing up on a dark blue background or a black background, you of course would want the white logo. For dark backgrounds, of course, you would want it to be the dark logo because it's gonna show up on a white background. If you only have one, you can load just the one in the dark spot and it will tell you right there. If only one is uploaded, it will be used for both light and dark. So just depending on the branding that you have, maybe you worked with the marketing group to create your own logo and branding, they'd be able to provide you with the PD, or I'm sorry, the JPEGs that you would need to upload here in the logo option. So again, we're in Moxie. We got here from desk. We went over to the left under the My Account menu option. 
and we went into my brand. This is where you can go ahead and update however you want your email signature to look. You have templates to choose from, you can do custom, or you can do basic. And again, it will always show you what it looks like on desktop and mobile, because we all know that a lot of people are reading their emails on their cell phone devices. So you'll wanna make sure that it does look good on both. So that is the topic we had for you guys today for Moxie Monday. I'll go ahead and pop open the chat box. What questions do you guys have for me? We'll give it just a few minutes. Okay, well, I don't see any questions that have come in today. Uh, take a look. If you've never been in the My Brand section here of my account, go ahead and log in, see what email signature you have chosen, and go ahead and play around with it, whether you're uh, uploading a custom one, creating a custom one, or choosing a template. Thanks so much for your time today. Appreciate it. Bye now.